Hi. So we have a Suzuki Splash with a 1000 um, cc engine. Uh, the problem with the vehicle is it doesn't want to start and the uh, uh, fuel pump is not uh, working. Uh, to replace the fuel pump I have to raise the vehicle and uh, remove the fuel tank because there is no service opening at the back uh, seats. I have raised the vehicle. So now you can see the fuel tank. The fuel tank are holding two metal brackets. Also on this side. They are with uh, 14 millimeter uh, bolts. But first I have to disconnect the exhaust because it's in the way of removing the fuel tank. So I'm gonna have to open these two bolts uh, here, also with 14 millimeter wrench, and uh, these two bolts uh, here, also with 14 millimeter wrench, and remove these two rubber mounts, and after that I can uh, open the metal clamps that uh, hold uh, the fuel tank. I have removed the uh, exhaust, so now I'm going to support uh, the fuel tank and I'm going to open the four bolts of the metal brackets that uh, hold the fuel tank and also I'm going to open uh, these uh, metal clamps so I can uh, disconnect the hoses and uh, lower the, uh, the fuel tank. I have opened the four bolts with 14 millimeter wrench, uh, disconnected the bigger hose, also the smaller hose, and uh, also on this side I have uh, disconnected the uh, fuel hose and also the uh, evaporator hose. So now I can uh, lower the fuel tank and then I can remove the fuel pump. After lowering a little bit uh, the fuel tank, I can uh, disconnect uh, the wiring uh, connector for the fuel pump and also for the uh, fuel gauge. So now the fuel tank is uh, removed. I can uh, disconnect uh, this uh, hose and then uh, I have to clean up uh, this area of the dirt and because when I open I don't want uh, the dirt uh, to fall into the fuel tank. I have uh, used uh, compressed air to blow out uh, all the dirt so now I can pull up this uh, hose like this, press the two pins and I can uh, <coughs> disconnect it from the fuel pump assembly and now I have to open this uh, plastic uh, cap I can uh, use a large uh, screwdriver and a uh, small hammer and with a little hammering I can uh, open the... I have removed the fuel pump assembly so now I'm going to disassemble I'm going to open this uh, top part uh, here so I can uh, remove the uh, fuel pump First I have uh, opened these uh, four plastic pins and I have removed the top uh, plastic cover. Uh, now I can uh, also I have disconnected the wires. So now I can uh, remove the fuel guide uh, tool. I'm going to press these two plastic pins. Then I can uh, remove it, I don't want to damage it. So now I'm going to disconnect there is one plastic pin that should be pressed uh, here and then like that. 
that so that is disconnected also and uh, now i can uh, pull out uh, from the housing i can uh, pull it up so now i have to use uh, hot uh, water so i can soften these uh, two plastic hoses and then i can uh, disassemble the fuel pump okay i made a small mistake uh, we don't have to disconnect the plastic hoses i just uh, pull it uh, out uh, press these uh, four pins and uh, remove the pump uh, from the assembly also i have uh, removed the uh, filter and uh, now i can uh, pull out the pump uh, from the housing like this and i can install the new pump here i have new fuel pump that i'm going to install on the vehicle as you can see inside we have a fuel pump a new uh, filter also there is a new connector but uh, we don't need the connector and that one is okay so i'm going to install the filter on the pump and now i can install the pump into the pump assembly inside there is a rubber seal here that and now we can return the whole assembly into its place so now i can install the wiring connector for the fuel pump also the wire that uh, goes on the for the grounding point and i can install also the metal spring and I can return the filter assembly on the pump so now I can install the fuel guide also I can pull the connector here and now i can connect the wiring and i can install the plastic uh, cap so now the fuel pump assembly is ready to be returned into the fuel tank so we can see there is a pin here that can be aligned with uh, this uh, hole in the fuel tank so the fuel guide uh, can uh, uh, can indicate uh, properly how much fuel there is in the tank and now i can install the plastic cover i'm gonna need the rubber seal was uh, staying on the fuel tank gonna need both hands ah. now the plastic cap is tightened I'm going to install the plastic hose press it here also over there and there is plastic safety pin Now the fuel tank is ready to be returned into the vehicle. I'm going to put on the hydraulic jack and I'm going to rise to attach to the vehicle. I have connected the electric wiring. Also I have put the 
two hoses uh, connected with the uh, with the filler. Uh, so now I'm going to rise just a little bit uh, so I can install the bolts and tighten it the fuel tank uh, on the vehicle. I have tightened it all four bolts with 14 mm wrench, connected these uh, plastic uh, hoses, also installed the metal clamps on these uh, hoses. Now I'm going to install the exhaust. I have installed the exhaust, there are two nuts on this side with 14mm wrench, also two bolts uh, here with 14mm wrench and uh, rubber mounts. Now I'm going to lower the vehicle and I'm going to try to start the engine. The vehicle is on the ground, so now I'm going to try to start the engine. I can hear the pump is working. Oh, because there is uh, air in the system, the engine can shake a little. But after a few seconds, everything is uh, looking okay. So this means that I am finished, if you like to see more videos please subscribe to my channel, like my videos and thank you for watching.